everyone thank you so much for watching today's video in this video i'm going to show you this soft bronzy eye look which you can wear it for work for school or any occasion you want to wear it for now before i go in with any eyeshadow i'm first going to prime my eyelids i'm using this paint pot from mac in the shade soft ochre and applying this all over the eyelid the brush that i'm using is a p84 brush from sigma beauty i have a special discount code in the description bar that you can use to save some money if you want to purchase any products from Sigma Beauty. I have a brush kit with them myself, but that one is currently sold out because of you guys. Thank you so much. Um, as soon as it's back, of course, I'll let you know. I'm using this palette from Pure Cosmetics and it's actually the second time. This is the previous video I filmed using the palette. I will make sure to link the link in the description bar in case you want to see that look that i made using the same palette so today i'm going to use a soft color i'm going to use with this super light color just applying it all over the eyelid to kind of like lock the eyeshadow primer in place to make sure that it's going nowhere also it's going to kind of like create a nice base for all the shades i'm going to blend afterwards so i'm going to use this shade which is called camelot probably pronouncing that wrong it's kind of like a yellowy shade really beautiful and i'm gonna take a sigma e40 brush and blend this all over in my crease Now for the next step, I'm going to take the color Told You with a Sigma Beauty E25 brush. And I'm going to press this in the outer V of the eyelid to kind of like darken it up and also warming it up because this shade has more of a brownish warm undertone. Super beautiful. I'm kind of like packing it on the eyelid and then with whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to blend it a bit more upwards towards my crease area. Then I'm taking a Sigma E42 brush with the same yellow shade again, blending a little bit more of that around the edges because I wanted to make sure that it looked as nicely blended as possible. So in order to make that happen, it's nice to go back in with the first shade you used and blend this around the edges of the darker shade and this way it's gonna look so much more soft. And I'm gonna use my finger to apply this color called Golden Ticket, a super beautiful golden kind of shade. I really love it. And I'm gonna use this to apply it all over the eyelid. Now I'm taking a E42 brush again, which I used earlier, and I'm just going to kind of like blend around the edges to make sure that there are no harsh lines. I had just a little bit of leftover product on the brush, but I didn't add like any new product. Just kind of like making sure that all the edges are just looking really soft. And then I decided to add a little bit more of the eyeshadow to make it even more golden. Now I'm gonna take a eyeliner brush and I'm gonna use the color You're Not My Real Dad and I'm going to create a line above the lash line. I wanted to use this eyeshadow to use as my eyeliner, but I did notice that it wasn't looking as dark as I wanted it to be. I used a angled brow brush from Sigma, which is my favorite brush for applying eyeliner. And I actually made it a little bit wet using some setting spray, but it was still not looking dark enough. So I went in with this eyeliner from Dose of Colors. And I'm using a little bit of that on top of it to make it stand out a bit more. Then 
So now for the next step, I'm gonna take the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer and I use it in the shade Light Medium. I'm taking a E25 brush from Sigma Beauty and I just applied a very tiny amount of the concealer on it. I'm kind of going to like smudge my brush back and forth. This way I'm going to clean up the eyeshadow that is a little bit lower than I want it to be, but without making it look like a really straight line. This is just gonna give the effect like you blended your eyeshadow in that shape, but you're just using a brush. This is a really easy trick. Definitely try it out if you haven't yet. Um, it, for me personally, was like life-changing when it comes to my eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with the Morphe Brushes Eye Pencil in the color Vibes. Uh, one of my favorite pencils. I actually received some messages from you guys letting me know that you purchased it and that you really liked it, which made me really happy because it's actually such an affordable pencil. I think I only paid like $4 but it will last me a very long time. And it's such a beautiful like warm brown color that will complement your eye color. Now I'm taking this brownish shade. This looks kind of like similar to the pencil shade in the one line. So this way I can use it to kind of like smudge out the lower lash line and make everything look really nice and brown and brown. <laughs> That's just what it is. So now I'm gonna use this yellow shade, using that to blend it out even more to kind of like make the transition um, downwards a little bit more softer and blend it out. And I just kept blending and blending and I added more of the product. I really wanted my lower lash line to kind of like look really blown out. I really love that effect that it gives. And then after blending the low lash line, I went in with my lash curler. I always do this before I go in with mascara. Also, I feel like if you wear fake lashes, you definitely wanna like curl your lashes because else you will kind of like see your own natural lashes hanging a little bit lower, which makes your fake lashes look less natural, if that makes sense. So now I'm going in with this mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. It's the Dare Real Mascara. Such an incredible mascara. I've actually did not use it for a really long time. Um, I remember when I used to work at a makeup store, everyone always used to rave about this mascara, but I personally like the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara more. This is the Dare Real Mascara. Um, however, it does make my lashes super long. I actually decided to not wear fake lashes today because I felt like my lashes were looking long enough i i was just really pleased with how it was looking also skipping fake lashes of course saves some time which is really nice as well especially if you're doing your makeup before you go to school or to work and yeah this is the final result i really hope you all enjoyed this video let me know if you're gonna recreate it if you're gonna try this eye look um don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this is really helpful for my youtube channel and i hope to see you all in my next video Bye guys! <music>